Juan David Ortiz, an American spree killer, serial killer, and former Border Patrol agent, emerged as the perpetrator behind the harrowing events that unfolded in Laredo in September 2018. His heinous acts, which targeted vulnerable members of society, cast a shadow over the community and raised alarming questions about the nature of evil and the facade of normalcy. A wolf in sheep's clothing Ortiz, who had served as a Border Patrol agent, betrayed the trust placed in him by the very community he was sworn to protect. His position, which should have been a symbol of safety and security, became a tool for manipulation and violence. This stark contrast between his professional persona and his criminal actions added a layer of shock and disbelief to the already tragic events. Praying on the Vulnerable The victims, all sex workers, were chosen for their perceived vulnerability. Ortiz's targeting of these women highlighted the dangers faced by individuals in high-risk professions and the societal stigmatization that often leaves them unprotected and marginalized. The murders brought to light the need for greater safeguards and support for sex workers who are frequently victims of violence and exploitation. The escape and capture Ortiz's reign of terror was brought to an end thanks to the bravery of a potential victim who managed to escape. Her courageous act of fleeing and alerting the police was pivotal in stopping further bloodshed. This escape not only led to Ortiz's capture, but also helped unravel the details of his crimes. Her testimony was instrumental in the investigation, offering crucial insights into Ortiz's methods and motives. The Aftermath – Trial and Sentencing Ortiz's trial was a focal point of national attention, shedding light on the gruesome nature of his crimes. The evidence presented was incontrovertible, painting a vivid picture of his guilt. His conviction brought a semblance of closure to the families of the victims and the community of Laredo, but it also opened up discussions about mental health, the responsibilities of law enforcement agencies, and the need for more stringent background checks for those in positions of power. The Ripple Effects The case of Juan David Ortiz had far-reaching implications. It prompted a re-evaluation of hiring practices within law enforcement, with calls for more comprehensive psychological assessments. The tragedy also sparked conversations about the safety and rights of sex workers, leading to initiatives aimed at offering better protection and reducing stigma. The story of Juan David Ortiz is a chilling reminder of the dualities that can exist within an individual. It underscores the importance of vigilance, both in our communities and within our law enforcement institutions. While the wounds inflicted by Ortiz's actions will never fully heal, the resilience of Laredo and its commitment to justice and reform will stand as a lasting legacy of this tragic chapter in its history. The breakthrough came when one victim managed to escape. Her harrowing account led the police to a suspect, a seemingly ordinary individual whose facade of normalcy hid a dark secret. This suspect, a member of the community, had been living a double life, blending into the everyday fabric of Laredo while preying on its residents. The police, along with federal agencies, launched an intensive investigation. Forensic evidence, CCTV footage and witness testimonies became crucial in piecing together the puzzle. The community rallied, providing tips and aiding in the search. The media played a critical role, keeping the public informed and vigilant. The hunt for the serial killer of Laredo is a stark reminder of the evil that can lurk in the most unexpected places. It is also a testament to the strength of a community that stood together in its darkest hour. The story of Laredo is not just one of tragedy, but also of courage, resilience, and an unwavering quest for justice. The case of Juan David Ortiz 
not only led to a quest for justice, but also ignited a broader discussion on social and systemic issues. The community of Laredo, law enforcement agencies, and society at large were compelled to confront uncomfortable truths and seek ways to prevent such tragedies in the future. The fact that Ortiz's victims were sex workers brought to light the vulnerabilities faced by individuals in this profession. Advocacy groups and social activists called for better protection of sex workers, emphasizing the need to treat them with dignity and respect. This incident spurred movements to decriminalize and destigmatize sex work, advocating for it to be recognized as a legitimate profession deserving of legal protections and social support. In the aftermath of the Ortiz case, there was a renewed emphasis on strengthening the relationship between law enforcement and the communities they serve. Trust had been eroded, and there was a collective understanding of the need to rebuild it. Community Policing E 